morning YouTube. I'm back with another video this morning. I know I usually film at night, but I got up early and I got ready early, so I had some free time in between when I was finished getting ready and before I have to go to work. So I figured I would film a video because I do want to make Zumba class tonight and I don't know if I'm going to have enough energy to film after I get out of the gym and like after dinner and everything. So Today's video is going to be my top favorite concealers slash my whole concealer collection, which is fairly small, I guess in my opinion, because there's only six products and I use pretty much all of them besides one is brand new, I've never tried, and I will start off by showing you that one, which is the Eve Pearl Dual Salmon Concealer and Treatment in Light Medium. It just looks like this, and I have heard great things about this, so I'm not worried that I'm not going to like it. I don't think I've actually ever read or watched a review here on YouTube um, or a bad review on this product. So once I am done using up my concealer in my Project 10 pan, I am going to switch to switch to this, and I will probably do a first impression slash review of this. So keep an eye out for that video. And then the next product is my Project 10 pan concealer. And that is the Revlon Age Define with DNA Advantage in the shade 01 Light Pale. It just looks like this. And this is a really good concealer. It's very, very light in consistency. And then the coverage is light to medium, but I'm pretty sure you can build it up. I don't put more than one layer of concealer on, though, because I don't want it to be cakey and I don't want it to crease underneath my eyes so I've never I don't think I've ever tried putting two layers of this on but I'm sure you could I also only use this underneath my eyes to conceal the slightest little bit of dark circles underneath my eyes I don't use this to spot treat because it's in a shade way too light for my skin tone so I do like this but once I'm finished with this I'm not going to repurchase this and I don't think now, don't quote me on this, but I don't think I'm going to repurchase any drugstore concealers from here on out because I think with high-end concealers, or at least the ones I've, I have in my collection that I've chosen over the past year or two or three, whatever, however long I've been using concealer, the high-end ones just work so much better in my opinion, and they're not even that much more expensive, I feel. The next couple I'm going to show you are MAC products, and these are my holy grail concealers. So I do like this. I would recommend it if you are looking for a cheaper alternative drugstore, light to medium coverage, light um, consistency concealer. So does that make sense? And then the next product is my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35. It just looks like this, and... This is a great product. This was probably, I think, the first MAC concealer I've ever used or owned, and um, it works really well. It's definitely full coverage. It's a little bit thick and tacky, which I apply very lightly underneath my eyes, and I um, blend it out really well so it doesn't crease on me, but I wouldn't suggest applying more than one coat of this underneath your eyes. I don't think you actually would need to because it is completely full coverage and um, I set this one with a powder because I'm a little bit nervous that it will crease. It never has in the past or if it has like just barely by the end of the day I've noticed but I would recommend this if you use if you have to spot treat or you choose to spot treat on your face I would try this it's definitely definitely full coverage and it will conceal like any blemish any redness any um like the start of a pimple, probably even like, I don't want to say cystic acne because I actually don't know. I've never had severe um, skin problems, so I can't like speak on behalf of people that do. But this is an amazing concealer and I would highly suggest checking it out. And then the next concealer I'm about to show you is my Holy Grail concealer and it is Max Pro Longwear Concealer. Looks like this. And I have it in the shade NC30. This I use underneath my eyes all the time. Well, not right now because I'm using my Project 10 pan. But before that, um, I was using this all the time. It has a little pump. You need just the slightest, tiniest bit of concealer to conceal 
underneath both eyes and it's full coverage it doesn't crease at all even if i i don't even usually set this one with a powder and it's never once creased it stays on all day and it looks just as fresh by the end of the day as it did when you first applied it in the morning so this is amazing i believe this retails for 18 like it's either 18 19 or 20 dollars which you would think is kind of a lot, especially since the bottle in comparison to, you know, everything else in my background is so tiny. And even to my hand, it looks tiny, but it, it really is a lot of product. I'm not going to say, you know, that it's going to last for ages and ages, but I think that I could probably get a good six months out of this and I can seal underneath my eyes every day. Now, if you can seal underneath your eyes and you can seal on your face, then I would definitely say that this is going to last, um, a shorter period of time I actually don't even know if you could use the same color because I know underneath my eyes I um, have a different shade than on my face so it is let's see 0.3 fluid ounces so I think it's a good amount of product and if this lasts six months then I don't mind paying $20 for six months worth of product especially since I absolutely love this and I'd rather focus on just purchasing one concealer that I really like and spending a little bit more than going to the drugstore and purchasing, you know, three or four different drugstore concealers because at the end, you're paying kind of the same amount of money for a couple products that you don't like or one product that you really like, so. And then my next product is another MAC product and it is MAC Prep and Prime in Highlighter Pen in Bright Forecast. There are three different shades of this. There is Bright Forecast, which is a pretty much not a super pink toned one, but more of a flesh toned one. And then there is a yellow one. I forget what it's called. My sister Kimberly has it. And then there's one more. I actually forgot the shade of that one too. So I know I have a goldfish memory, unfortunately, but I really like this highlighting pen. It works amazing. And it just... I don't know, I, I think I just showed you this. It just has a um, one of those brush applicators. And I don't use this every day because this is $25, I want to say, which is a lot. And originally after the first time I purchased this, I figured, hey, I'm going to be able to find a drugstore alternative to this. And I bought the Revlon one that looks very similar to this, except it's in a, what well, call the package. Oh, no, I think it's in a black packaging, too. Yeah, but this part right here is clear so you can see the product. The product almost, like, in color-wise, looks very, very similar. So I figured, hey, I'll get the Revlon one because the Revlon one is, I think, $13 at CVS. And you can find it on sale and cheaper at Walmart and Target and stuff. So I got it. I brought it home. I used it. I hated it. Look, it didn't show up on my skin at all when I applied it. And then as soon as I blended it out, it just... The product completely disappeared and it did nothing so it was such a waste of money in my mind and I'd rather just pay double the price for a product that actually works than to pick up a product just because it's on the cheaper end and not have it do anything at all so I would recommend this product I don't use it every day because it's just too expensive to go through you know once a month or or every couple weeks but I do use this on days when I want that I guess Kim Kardashian look underneath my eyes with the triangles and have it super highlighted on other days on regular days I will just conceal at the current moment with this and I'm good to go underneath my eyes but on days that I want more emphasis or if I'm going out at night I will conceal with either one of these two products underneath my eyes and then I will put this on top of it so I really like this do I think it's worth the money I know I've thought about this for like a while before and I personally think it is but if you don't have $25 to spend on a highlighting pen or if you're looking for a highlighting pen, um, I, I don't know if there's any other dupes. I know there's even ones that are more expensive like the YSL one has the Touche Clot one and I think that's like in the 40s so this one's cheaper compared to that one but I'll have to... I might have to do my research and find out if there's a similar alternative to this that actually works. But for now, I am going to stick with this one because I don't use it consistently. So this one pen will usually last me two months, which in my books, okay, $25 for a product that lasts me two months. I'll live, so. Oh, and the last product that I'm going to show you is not 
it's a concealer, but I don't use it to conceal. I actually use it as a cream contour. And it is another MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I know it's super dark, right? It's an NC50, which is absolutely absurd. You're probably thinking, what are you doing? How are you ever using this as a product for your face? But I use this as a cream contour. I just apply... The lighting keeps going down. There we go. Um, I use this as a cream contour. I just apply a little bit on my, like, where I would normally contour and then use a, st a MAC stippling brush and blend it out, and it looks amazing. I actually learned that routine or that technique from one of the girls that works at the MAC counter that I purchased all of my MAC products from, and since she showed me how to do it, I've kind of just been hooked. I don't do it all the time because it does take me a little while to, like, perfect my technique, and I just don't have the time in the morning to, well... I don't make the time in the morning to do that every morning. Instead, I just contour with my Laguna, uh, not Laguna Casino, NARS Casino bronzer and just a contouring brush from MAC. So I do like this. I would recommend trying this. You don't have to buy the actual bottle. You can go to MAC and ask for a sample size and they will put, I have so many of these of different products, but they'll put samples in a little MAC um, container and then you can take it home and try it out and see whether or not you actually like contouring with a cream or a liquid product. And if you do, then you can actually buy the product. But if you don't, then you didn't waste any of your money. So I know people do like to contour with those L'Oreal True Match Crayon Concealers. And I kind of wanted to try them, but I just can't bring myself, knowing that I have so many, like I have six concealers in front of me right now. Knowing that I have six, I can't bring myself to buy any more concealer products at the current moment. So at least, I think I'm going to do like a two for one type of situation with my makeup. And once I use two products of the, in the same category up, then I'll go out and purchase one new one. So I don't think I'm ever going to run out. I probably have enough concealer to conceal underneath my eyes and on my face for at least the rest of the year if not into 2015 so I'm not too worried about that but that is it with my video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe and share if you haven't oh I almost forgot what I always say at the end you know I'm not forcing you to but I really do appreciate every single one of you that does you know help me grow my channel it's all thanks to you guys that is the reason why I'm here on YouTube filming so if you have any comments or suggestions or any holy grail concealers then leave them down in the comments below and I'll definitely check them out you guys know how much I enjoy reading your comments and responding back and I just now I feel like I have some friends here on YouTube so it makes it that much easier and that much more fun that like I can almost count on certain people and subscribers to comment on my videos and those what uh, you people know who you are that comment consistently and I really really do like it and I really do appreciate it and I think you guys are just the nicest sweetest little youtubers in the world so I actually have to go get ready and like put on my shoes and get ready to go to work but I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow for a new video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day so bye see you later